The dispatch of an oil rig from factory to site involves numerous transport shipment tasks. These occur concurrently and although sufficient tasks are started to cover initial estimates of the required transport volumes, it is always possible for the additional tasks to be initiated if there is a shortfall in transportation requirements. Once 90% of the transport shipment tasks are complete, the next task, invoice transport costs, can commence. The remaining transport shipment tasks continue until the whole rig has been transported. Hi, my name is Andreas Henze and this video is part of a series on BPMN and workflow patterns. Today we look at the dynamic partial join for multiple instances pattern. Within a given process instance, multiple concurrent instances of a task can be created. The required number of instances may depend on a number of runtime factors, including state data, resource availability and inter-process communications, and it is not known until the final instance has completed. At any time whilst instances are running, it is possible for additional instances to be initiated, providing the ability to do so had not been disabled. A completion condition is specified, which is evaluated each time an instance of the task completes. Once the completion condition evaluates to true, the next task in the process is triggered. Subsequent completions of the remaining task instances are inconsequential and no new instances can be created. You can see the behavior in the original flash animation. This animation is quite complex, so we started here, we have task A, task B, and then we have our multiple instance task and we have three instances here and each time we finish an instance it asks us if the whole task should be finished right now, the whole multiple instance tasks, and we say no, we can finish another instance, we say no again, and we also can add additional instances. However, we can also disable adding additional instances and then we can only finish existing ones and once we say it's finished, we go on to D, but here this instance C remains until we finish it. In BPMN, this can be modeled with a subprocess and a non-interrupting boundary event. So here we start with plan oil rig dispatch. And you can see now that we have two tokens. One is here at the multi-instance task transport shipment. So we can start any number of instances here. And the other one is here at the event-based gateway. And if we need additional instances, we can always create them. So we create another transport shipment instance and yet another one until either transport shipment is completed 90% or we can disable this creation of additional instances here. Let's say now we have reached 90%, so we go here and we also have this non-interrupting boundary event. So after 90% are completed, we can invoice transport cost and then we have to wait until all the transport shipment instances are completed until we can assemble the rig. Summing up, we can say that although BPMN does not support this pattern directly, we can implement the example and also be faithful to the pattern using standard BPMN constructs. Thank you for watching.